Everything started with being molested on the bus keywords of the novel. I return from hell without pop-ups, I return from hell. Download the complete TXT collection and read the latest chapters on I return from hell. Chapter 1. Rebirth. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Rebirth, Xiaoru, why did you learn poorly? I don't have it, cousin. A serious person who dies ahead of pink hair. Like a young lady. The sound of conversation echoed in my ears, followed by the chaotic urban hustle and bustle. In a daze, Xia Yu's consciousness slowly returned from the endless darkness. Opening your eyes, what catches your eye are the rows of villages outside the car window. The winter sunshine is light and comfortable, without any violence or arrogance, just holding on to your body, soft and crisp, making it difficult to lift your spirits. Just waking up, her consciousness was still a bit hazy, and she followed the sound and looked into the car. This is a bus, Route 333. Add yourself, 15 people. Most people have fatigue on their faces, and each person's body is sub-healthy or even unhealthy, without any sense of vigilance. The current situation is extremely abnormal, and it is impossible for it to occur in the end world filled with blood, slaughter, and betrayal. Am I hallucinated? Xia Yu woke up in an instant, gripping the signature pen pinned to the book tightly. Her index finger suddenly exerted force, and the pen cap fell off, revealing the tip of the pen. She scanned around like a hawk and falcon, her muscles tense and ready to pounce at any moment. Not right. The strength is not right. This fragile signing pen, even in a severely injured state, can be easily broken with a gentle grip. Also, she hasn't been hallucinated. Xia Yu struggled to survive in the post-apocalypse for ten years, his observational ability was sharp and he made judgments in an instant. At the same time, there was also an instant of confusion, and his brain seemed to have stopped working. Didn't he give me a glance when I was saving my younger brother and die? Is this a life review before death? Front row. Didn't your academic performance be quite good before? Isn't it good to be a good student? Do you deserve your parents like this? My grades have always been quite good. You're still cunning. Saying you're all for your own good, take a look at your current situation, your studies will definitely be affected. The sisters' voices rang again. The people around had strange eyes and muttered to themselves, the school doesn't allow students to die like this, right? At first glance, they look like bad students who don't listen to their teachers. It looks like a wine companion, probably a student girl who does that kind of thing. She looks pretty good and has a great figure. I don't know if the price is high, TSK TSK. The girl with pink hair hung her head and was about to cry. She just likes pink. Is this also wrong? Rear row. A pair of best friends were whispering, Xiao AI, can you help me come up with an idea? My boyfriend and I have been in a relationship for three years and our relationship is very good. He has good conditions in all aspects, and I am very satisfied. I am looking forward to getting married, but I have a knot in my heart. I have had an abortion for my ex-boyfriend, and his current boyfriend has a strong sense of control. If I know about this, it may affect our relationship. What should I do? You definitely can't tell him, even during the sweet period of love, that's the most taboo thing for men. But my boyfriend loves me so much that he will definitely accompany me during the pregnancy test, won't he reveal his true feelings then? Are you stupid? You can go to a high.n private hospital to have a child, communicate with the doctor in advance, and pay attention to protecting your privacy. That's reasonable. Little love, you are my good sisters. I don't know what to do without you. That's not true. We are good sisters all our lives, and our love is stronger than gold. On the small bus, there are all kinds of creatures. These words and the surrounding scenes stirred up memories buried deep in Xia Yu's mind. Her pupils shrank and she instinctively spoke, next, people around her will get up and get off the car. 
The empty seat will have an old thug sitting down, and... Immediately after, the situation proceeded as she said. The flat-headed fitness man sitting next to him stood up and prepared to get off the car. An old man in his sixties and seventies sat in his seat, occasionally glancing at Xiaoyu, and his body slowly leaned towards her. Xiaoyu glanced at the old man and his movement stopped. When she withdrew her gaze, the old man moved again. At this moment, Xia Yu has no time to talk to this old rascal, because she has determined one thing. I, have been reborn. She looked incredulous. Although many unimaginable things happened after the outbreak of the apocalypse and the fusion of all worlds, the rebirth of such things still greatly beyond her imagination. For a moment, Xia Yu's emotions were complex. If it weren't for the resilience she had developed during her 10 dot year career in the end of the world, she would have been unable to suppress her inner ecstasy. By the way, following the process of the previous life, this bus will enter the rule fog and participate in the first fog event. Xia Yu suddenly looked at the time displayed in the car. Saturday, February 7, 2025, at 14.44. At this time her heart tightened and she suddenly looked out the window. The originally bright sunshine had disappeared for some time, replaced by a white mist. Very light. There's still time to leave now. Xia Yu's gaze fixed and she said, after the fog is thick, I can't even leave if I want to. White fog, also known as regular fog, is a special fog formed when two spaces merge. Before the outbreak of the apocalypse, the connection between the inside and outside of the fog was completely cut off, and people inside could not leave, while those outside could not enter. Here, there is the spiritual energy of heaven and earth from the alien space. Although it is much rarer than the alien space, for humans on the blue star, living in an environment with zero spiritual energy for a long time, sudden exposure to the majestic spiritual energy of heaven and earth can easily cause various changes in their bodies. The vast majority of humans are unable to adapt and ultimately cannot survive, becoming mutants, gaining far greater power than before, but losing their sanity, like walking corpses. A small number of people can survive, maintain their sanity, and improve their physical fitness to varying degrees, far less than mutants, becoming spiritual mutants, and even possessing supernatural powers to become spiritual beings. Those are truly human beings. Among them, the smaller the body's reaction, the stronger the willpower, and the easier it is to survive. Conversely, it is less likely to survive and become a mutator. It's really intoxicating. Unfortunately, it's still too thin compared to before being reborn. This familiar feeling made her realize that she was truly alive, truly reborn. Xia Yu decided to stay. In her previous life, at this moment, she was harassed by an old thug and panicked. She got off the car and ran all the way, before the rules and fog completely blocked this place, she ran out. To be honest, she later became very grateful to the old thug because all the participants in the first fog incident had died. In this lifetime, what are you doing? A strong and angry shout echoed behind her. Shua. Everyone's gaze was cast upon them. Why are you rubbing against this girl, you old man? It's disrespectful of you. The speaker's name was Lu Fan. He was sixteen or seventeen years old and had several youthful and beautiful pimples. He kept thinking about whether to muster the courage to ask Xia Yu for his contact information, but he saw this scene. Upon hearing this, everyone immediately looked at the old man next to Xia Yu with a disgusted expression on their faces. Young man, don't wrongly accuse someone. The old rogue naturally wouldn't admit it and said, which of your eyes saw me rubbing against her? He has done this kind of thing many times, but it's just a quick rub without losing anything. Every time the beautiful woman is rubbed, she will choose to endure because of her reputation or timidity. Even if the beautiful woman in front of him doesn't choose to endure and start making a big fuss, he still has a solution. Take a bite back or say that the driver is driving too quickly and doesn't sit firmly, it's not intentional, and he can even rely on his old age to sell off. 
In short, he is not afraid at all. Result whoever thought someone would meddle in their own affairs. The key is that you haven't touched it yet. I can see both eyes. How could Leffen miss the opportunity to show off in front of a beautiful woman, and directly argued, Master, when driving to the police station, you must catch this old rascal. Unexpectedly, this old rascal was not afraid at all. Instead, he blatantly rubbed against Xia Yu's body and said arrogantly, Let's go. Whoever doesn't go to the police station is his grandson. Leffen had never encountered such a person before and was stunned, unsure of what to do. I recognize this old man. Last time, he also sexually assaulted a girl wearing black silk on this bus, and was later arrested at the police station. I also remember. He is a habitual offender, over seventy years old, and cannot be detained. He can only criticize education. Young man, forget it, we still have something to do. The little girl didn't say anything, what's your motivation here? For a moment, many people in the car were making noise, and the passengers led by the fitness man were urging them not to delay their time. Um. You. Leffen didn't know what to say anymore. The old rascal laughed, so proud that he couldn't help but laugh. However, he felt his head was a bit groggy, and pain came from all over his body, as if countless needles had pierced him. Beauty, let's call the police. Even if we can't detain him, we can't just let it go. Lu Fan's energy is unbearable. Everyone's gaze turned to Xiaoyu. No need. She shook her head and spoke astonishingly. Ah. Leffen was both embarrassed and anxious. The other passengers had different expressions. The old rogue was even more proud, even leaning against Xia Yu's body. Although he couldn't touch anything through thick winter clothes, he thought of the delicate skin and flesh inside his clothes he feels good in his heart. I can handle it myself. Xia Yu spoke up. What can you do, little girl? If you're not careful, the other person may collapse to the ground and even blackmail you. Still too young. Everyone shook their heads, and many even sneered. The old rascal was not afraid at all, but felt his body becoming more and more comfortable. He thought to himself, it's just a mistake for this girl, and when the time comes, you can make both a good deal and a lot of money. Both wealth and wealth are coming. Only when Leffen saw Xia Yu change his grip on the pen, a bold guess rose in his heart. His face changed and he advised, Beauty, don't be impulsive. Everyone. Dot. Pushy. The next moment, in full view of everyone, the signing pen completely sank into the old rogue's temple. Special instructions. This book is not about the Virgin Mary, Father, or Voldemort. The author knows these basic poison points and will not disgust himself or the readers. I will not emphasize this matter again in the future. Finally, it should be noted that this book has chosen the double concealment setting, hoping that readers will have more patience to look back. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 From Relatives to Memories You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 from relatives to memories are killed. Run quickly, I killed someone. Silent for a few seconds, sharp screams suddenly burst out from inside the bus. Be in a panic. The brake sounds. The bus stopped without stopping, and everyone on board was pushing and shoving to get off. Amidst the panic, no one noticed the abnormality on their bodies, and many even began to stiffen with blood streaks appearing in their eyes. The scene was quite eerie. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. The old rogue opened his mouth, but had no strength to speak. A small amount of blood began to flow out along the signing pen. The process of human mutation takes between 1 and 20 seconds. Xia Yu must seize this opportunity to obtain a suitable weapon, otherwise, with her current physical condition and bare hands, she will inevitably be surrounded and killed by the mutants. She pushed the old rogue, whose body was convulsing wildly, away and accurately stepped her right foot on the end of the signature pen on her temple. 
Pushi. A familiar voice sounded, the signature pen disappeared, and the old thug trembled suddenly, completely silent. Xia Yu moved her right foot, stepped on the ground, and rushed towards the safety hammer. There are no blood footprints left on the ground. Just now, she accurately controlled the force of her foot, and the soul plate did not touch the old rascal's temple, leaving a finger-thick distance. The sole of her right foot was not stained with blood. This. Leffen never expected that things would develop to this extent. She watched Xia Yu take the safety hammer and was completely scared, thinking that the other person was crazy. He seemed to have seen a ghost, opening the window and wanting to escape. Close the window. Xia Yu turned her head and let out a stern shout. Don't be impulsive, I'll listen to you. Feeling Xia Yu's cold gaze, Lo Fan trembled with fear and quickly closed the window, squatting down with his head in his arms. At the same time, click. In the panicked crowd, a passenger unconsciously twisted his neck, making a physiological popping sound. His mouth slightly opened, and the corner of his mouth tore to the root of his ear. However, there was no blood flowing from the wound, only a faint visible subcutaneous dry tissue. Compared to a few minutes ago, I have lost two full laps. Skin and bones, as if the wind would blow and collapse. Only those who understand the mutator know that it can lift a 200-pound adult man with one hand effortlessly. Roar. It emits a hoarse and unpleasant roar. In her eyes, there were dense strands of blood, like spider webs, and this was the only blood present in her entire body at this moment. The world's first mutator was born. This honor should have belonged to the old man just now, but unfortunately he provoked the Grim Reaper and was killed before completing the mutation. Xia Yu's pretty face froze, instantly mobilizing her whole body's strength, unleashing a force far beyond her usual, even her body couldn't bear it and was in constant pain. This is the experience she has honed after countless killings, which has saved her many times. Shu. The safety hammer was thrown out with a click and plunged into the mutator's temple. There is no sound of entering the flesh like a popping sound, because mutants have no flesh and blood, only bone cracking sounds. Bang! It didn't even struggle and fell to the ground and died on the spot. The strength is a bit stronger. Xia Yu is very dissatisfied with the blow she just made. In the apocalypse, if you cannot precisely control your strength and solve enemies in the most cost-effective way, then once trapped in a siege, it is easy to exhaust your strength and die. This is a big taboo. Who? After this incident, it is necessary to spend time familiarizing oneself with one's current strength. She made a secret decision in her heart and looked around. Ah. She killed again. Crazy, this woman is crazy, run quickly. This scene instantly scared the crowd behind the mutant, some huddled in the corner, some ran towards the front of the bus, and some tripped to the ground. The crowd in front of the mutants looked at Xia Yu as if they were looking at a demon between them, desperately trying to escape from the bus. The pregnant woman's husband was extremely scared, and he, who was originally protecting his wife, pulled her back and rushed out on his own. The pregnant woman fell to the ground with some stomach pain, and her gaze towards her husband was filled with disappointment and resentment. Zhao Shuang, you beast. Her aunt saw this scene and endured the pain all over her body, slowly helping her own niece up while cursing loudly. The scene became even more chaotic. Whoosh! Xia Yu stepped forward and pulled out the safety hammer, rushing towards another passenger in the car who had just undergone a mutation. The probability of human mutation is high when first exposed to the spiritual energy of heaven and earth. Although the spiritual energy of heaven and earth here is not as majestic, according to her experience, there are no fewer mutators born than one hand. Moreover, mutants are much more powerful than early psychics, and in order to survive, the number of mutants must be minimized as much as possible. Reduce the pressure of the upcoming battle. Click. Speaking slowly and quickly, she struck down with a hammer and a familiar voice sounded. A fatal blow. 
extremely precise. Immediately, Xia Yu didn't even pull out the safety hammer, so she quickly walked to the seat of the bus driver who had already escaped and closed the car door. The inside and outside of the car are temporarily separated. At this moment, there are only the last six people left in the bus. Xia Yu, Lu Fan, my aunt and nephew, and the two cousins. Don't kill me, please. The pregnant woman covered her belly and knelt on the ground in pain, begging for mercy, I have a baby in my belly, just five months old. Please let us go. The cousins huddled in their seats, shivering. Leffen covered his mouth and dared not make any sound. Roar. The pregnant woman's aunt also knelt down, but she couldn't speak and could only let out a roar. Unconsciously, she twisted her fat and thick neck, opened her bloody mouth, and looked stiffly at her niece beside her. The strong aroma of meat made her extremely excited, and the last trace of intelligence dissipated completely. There is no trace of family affection in my eyes. Be careful. The pink-haired girl suddenly spoke out. Xia Yu has completed acceleration and kicked the head of the mutant. The heavy boots, combined with powerful kinetic energy, instantly caused the mutator's head to tilt backwards, with the back of the head tightly pressed against the headless down jacket on its back, and the cervical spine making strange noises. Its two feet seemed to be rooted, and its body only shook for a moment without taking a step back. Roar! The head returned to its original position. At this moment, Xia Yu had already picked up the safety hammer and didn't have time to stand up and recharge. She decisively turned her wrist and the safety hammer moved up at a faster and faster speed. Coincidentally. Click. Before the mutator could take the next action, the safety hammer hit their chin position. Chisel through. Stumbling. It finally couldn't maintain stability, took a step back, and felt a bit confused. Roar. The mutator was attacked one after another, and eating was stopped. He was very angry and was about to launch a counterattack. Xia Yu's offensive is coming again. With a click, the safety hammer shattered its forehead and plunged deeply into it. Bang. This mutator fell to the ground and died. You. You killed my aunt. The pregnant woman fainted on the spot. The cousin of the pink-haired girl, Yi Qing, took advantage of just now and found an art knife. She held it tightly, trembling as she aimed at Xia Yu. Not bad surprisingly, he didn't faint and knew how to counterattack. Seeing the other person's reaction, Xia Yu's eyes flashed with a strange color. She calmly turned around and closed the car window, saying, Look for yourself, what kind of people I killed. Ah. Yi Qing was taken aback for a moment, and finally focused her attention on the several corpses on the ground. When she saw the skinny appearance, she took a step back in fear. At this moment, the frightened voice of the pink-haired girl rang out. Cousin, look outside, those people are. Eating. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Feast of Killing. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 Feast of Killing Ha. Huh? Finally survived. Zhao Shuang turned his head and a hint of guilt appeared on his face, as his recent attack was likely to have harmed his own son. Fortunately, he already has two sons. Alarm. With only a hint of conscience, he quickly picked up his phone and said, no signal. Just as he was searching for signals everywhere, he found the bus driver lying on the ground, convulsing all over. Is he so thin? I remember he has put on weight, quite chubby. Zhao Shuang noticed that the bus driver's neck had slimmed down, which made him feel a bit strange. Just as he wanted to avoid walking, he saw the bus driver turn his head and reveal a dry face. His mouth, which was torn to the root of his ear, was even more frightening. Dot. Zhao Shuang was so frightened that he was all over and turned around, ready to run. As soon as I turned around, I saw an old lady behind me who looked like a stick of hemp. She was so dry that she had no human form, her mouth open, and a strange smell came from her face. 
especially those scattered yellow and sharp teeth, shining with a cold light, were extremely terrifying. Ah! Zhao Xuan instinctively wanted to push it away, but couldn't move at all. Instead, he stumbled and fell to the ground. Pushi. The bus driver was extremely agile and bit his throat with one bite. With just one tear, the throat was pulled out and blood spurted out. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh, Zhao Xuan trembled with fear on his face, desperately trying to push away the bus driver lying on top of him, only to find that he had no strength and even his consciousness was becoming blurred. Before he died, he looked towards the direction of the bus and didn't know what was on his mind. Monster! Monster! Help me! Xiao Ai, her best friend, and the fitness man all turned pale and ran away in horror. They successfully adapted to the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, indicating that their bodies have strong adaptability to it. Having the qualification to survive does not mean they will live to the end. The feast of slaughter has just begun. Roar! The bus driver heard a scream, lifted his face covered in blood, gritted his teeth, and vaguely saw some flesh between his teeth. Whoosh! It caught up. In just three seconds, it jumped out about thirty meters, and its speed became faster and faster, quickly bringing the distance between the two sides closer. Ah! Xiao Ai turned around and screamed in fear. If she continued like this, the next person to be knocked down on the ground would likely be her. She turned her gaze to her best friend. Hesitation. Roar. The roar from behind, resembling that of a wild beast, rang out once again. Very close. Xiao Ai even smelled a faint smell of blood. I'm sorry, I. I really don't want to die. Under the threat of death, she finally made up her mind and bit her silver teeth, pushing her best friend beside her. Just as a hint of guilt rose in my heart, my foot tripped and my body became unstable. No. Once tripped, the next person to die must be me. Is this a deserved crime for me? At this moment, her pretty face went wild. And when she saw her best friend retracting her leg, her guilt completely dissipated and replaced it with resentment. Bang! Bang! Two falling sounds sounded simultaneously. Why do you want to harm me? Didn't you also harm me? I think you are the best sisters, and I help you with your ideas. Are you treating me like this? Let's talk about each other. The two women actually got into a fight. The bus driver stopped next to the two women, tilted his head and looked at them, but surprisingly did not take action immediately. Obviously, he didn't expect to start fighting on his own while eating. Ah! Help! The next moment, the two women noticed this scene and screamed as they hugged each other. Nevertheless, the two women were still secretly fighting, hoping to bring each other closer to the bus driver and to die a little later. Roar! The bus driver roared and threw the two people to the ground, tearing them apart. The scene was bloody. Quickly, the intensity of the struggle decreased, and the screams became even fainter. Goo goo. Blood surged wildly from the wound. They did not die immediately, enduring the fear and pain of death, and enduring torment. Xiao Ai's best friend tried to ask the fitness man for help, but found that he ran without looking back and had already spread a hundred meters away, disappearing into the mist. And Xiao Ai reached out to the people inside the bus, with a pleading expression on her face. However, everyone inside the car had already been frightened, who dared to go out and save her. Seeing this scene, Yi Qing was so scared that she was about to scream out loud, you'd better shut up. Xia Yu's voice was cold and devoid of any emotion. Otherwise, if we attract these monsters, you and your cousin will both die. Upon hearing this, Yi Qing quickly covered her mouth. Nausea. But when she saw the scene of Xiao Ai and her best friend's organs and tissues scattered all over the ground, she couldn't help but feel nauseous. She quickly threw away her art knife and covered her mouth with both hands, afraid of making any noise or attracting those monsters. 
At the same time, she withdrew her gaze and dared not look again. More than ten seconds passed. Help, help. Help me. The cries for help outside the car became quieter and quieter until there was no movement. Chuan Yu hanging pavilion, right hand cutting pulse. Xia Yu recited something in a low voice, suddenly accelerating her absorption of spiritual energy from heaven and earth. This is an ancient guidance technique that she unintentionally obtained in her past life, and it is also relied on to increase her strength and speed from the middle and lower levels of the spiritual mutator to the upper and higher levels, coming from behind and becoming an apocalyptic powerhouse, with the power to protect her younger brother. At this moment, her body was tearing, healing, re-tearing, and re-healing repeatedly, at a fast pace. The pain was crazily pounding the nervous system, but her consciousness remained clear and even her face remained unchanged. In her previous life, when she first came into contact with the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, her body was almost unable to withstand the erosion of the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, and she became a mutator. In this life, the environment in which she lived had relatively scarce spiritual energy, and the transformation of her body was not as intense, and her willpower was far more resilient than in the previous life. So, even with the bonus of ancient guidance techniques, she will not become a mutator, and instead her overall physical fitness is improving at an extremely fast pace. The most obvious effect is that the strength she just expended has completely recovered within three seconds. The upcoming battle is bound to be extremely brutal, with every point of strength enhancement adding an extra chance of victory. She won't waste a minute or a second. Two minutes later. The two mutants finished eating, their stomachs bulging as if they were about to burst. A glimmer of gloss appeared on their dry faces, with flesh and blood fainting. They shrugged their noses around and began searching for new prey. With the passage of time, their bellies rapidly shrink, their luster disappears, and their flesh and blood disappear, while their movements become more agile. Eating helps to enhance their strength. Three minutes later. Ah. Bang! Bang! The sound of fighting and the screams of fitness men came from the mist. Five minutes later, two mutants reappeared. Those monsters are starting to lean over, they. They seem to have noticed us. The pink haired girl lowered her voice and said. Yi Qin carefully glanced out the window and then shrank in fear. Xia Yu absorbed the spiritual energy of heaven and earth while speaking, if you don't want to die, find weapons and prepare for battle. She didn't even look outside the car window. There are many ways for mutants to search for humans, and the most commonly used is their sense of smell, because their sense of smell is extremely sensitive and can sense a certain range of human odor sources, thus quickly finding the location of humans. Although she immediately closed the car windows and doors, the air tightness of the bus was too poor, which could delay about five minutes, exceeding her expectations. The words have just finished. These two mutants confirmed that there was delicious food inside the bus, and immediately accelerated and ran wildly. When they were still more than ten meters away from the bus, they jumped up high, with their feet almost two meters off the ground, and finally collided fiercely with the body of the bus. Bang! The entire bus was shaken, even slightly tilted. The impact force is evident. Two huge pits have emerged, and another attempt is sure to be pierced. Ah! Yi Qin screamed in fear. The pregnant woman who was in a coma also woke up, and her stomach hurt even more. She covered her hands and huddled in a corner, her whole body twitching as if she was sick. Xia Yu glanced at the woman, her eyebrows furrowed slightly, and finally turned her gaze to the two mutants outside the bus. She has no time to care about the lives of others, nor does she expect others to help her. In her opinion, the only purpose of these people is to distract the mutator's attention and not let her be besieged. Find weapons. Hurry up. Xia Yu reminds me again. Unfortunately no one is listening. No. At some point, Yi Qin picked up the art knife and held it tightly in his hand. However, at this moment, 
she was actually kind enough to help the pregnant woman. Obviously, it won't be of much help. We still need to rely on ourselves. Xia Yu didn't say anything, everyone has their own choices, and everyone is responsible for their own choices. She quickly withdrew her gaze, glanced at the location where the two mutants had collided, adjusted her position, arched her body slightly, her legs slightly curved, and lurked in the bus like a cheetah. Bang! Bang! At the next moment, two mutants collided with the car and landed at the front and rear ends of the bus. Xia Yu's position at this moment is very clever, just one step away is a mutator, the numb old lady. And, Madame Megan is facing her on the side. Waiting for this opportunity. Before the other party could figure out the situation inside the car, Xia Yu decisively rushed forward, holding the safety hammer in both hands and swinging it fiercely. Click. She achieved her wish and hit her head, but her own strength was too weak and the speed of the chiseling was a bit slow. The other party immediately lowered their head to avoid the crucial position. The safety hammer only chiseled into the back of its head. One blow did not kill. And because the weight of the safety hammer was not enough, the injury caused by this blow to Mrs. Ma Gan was not severe enough. It is indeed difficult to deal with. Xia Yu was not surprised by this, as her prepared right foot had already kicked the opponent's right shoulder. She clenched the safety hammer tightly while exerting strong force. With the help of a strong reaction force, the safety hammer was forcefully pulled out, not pulled out. Instantly caused secondary damage to the back of Mrs. Megan's head. Immediately, Xia Yu's body leaped backwards. Stable landing. Roar. Madame Megan was extremely manic and turned around to pounce. She only suffered two injuries to the back of her head, seriously affecting its physical balance and reducing its threat level by 30%. 30%. That's enough. Xia Yu took a deep breath and exerted force under her feet, leaping out like a cheetah. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Mutation and Steep Growth you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 Mutation and Steep Growth At the moment when Madame Megan lifted her right foot and couldn't maintain balance, she tilted to the right. Xia Yu moved and her whole body strength burst out in an instant. At this moment, the speed was surprisingly not slower than the other party. The two sides were already very close, accelerating towards each other, and in the blink of an eye, they met. Xia Yu suddenly turned to the right, gambling that the old lady would immediately choose to wave her right hand to attack. Before becoming a mutator, if humans were right-handed, they would instinctively follow this habit after becoming a mutator. Sure enough. Madame Megan instinctively waved her right hand, only to find that Xia Yu couldn't reach her for the first time, and her body was still tilting to the right, so she could only extend her left hand again. And this time, the opportunity has been lost. Thorned. Its sharp nails could only leave a deep mark on Xia Yu's down jacket on her chest, along with the inner hoodie and tight-fitting single clothes, all of which were scratched, revealing a faint white bra. Bang. At the same time, Xia Yu had already swung the safety hammer in her hand and hit the back of the opponent's head again where it had been smashed. This time, she encountered much less resistance, and most of the safety hammer was submerged in it. Madame Megan trembled all over. Fall to the ground on the spot. There was no movement. Who? Xia Yu let out a heavy breath. This is the mutator, too powerful, far beyond ordinary people. She had to put in so much effort to kill her when she successfully attacked in advance. Not to mention anyone else. Pulling out the safety hammer again, Xia Yu's gaze fell on the last mutator. When Xia Yu dealt with Madame Megan, the bus driver set his sights on others. Ah! Help me! Don't come over! The pink haired girl held a craft knife and protected the pregnant woman, trembling all over, but did not escape. On the other hand, Yi Qing and the pregnant woman turned around and ran away. Leffen took the opportunity to open the window and quickly crawled out. Roar. 
Bang. Click. Three voices sounded almost simultaneously. The bus driver was like a shell, flying a pink-haired girl. The pink-haired girl smashed fiercely on the windshield of the bus, causing the complete glass to crack densely, while her body was embedded in it. It looks like a spider web, like prey. The bus trembled fiercely. The pink-haired girl was full of pain and wanted to scream out loud, but as soon as she opened her mouth, she let out a big mouthful of blood with a pop sound. If someone stands in front of the bus and watches, they can clearly see some broken glass pieces completely embedding the back of the pink-haired girl's head. Blood overflowed profusely. Pink hair has been dyed red. Roar. The bus driver roared and rushed towards Yi Qing and the pregnant woman who opened the window and was about to jump out. Get lost. Yi Qing was startled and pushed the pregnant woman towards the monster, then suddenly leaned out of the car window. And then, Pushi. The sound of entering the flesh rang out. Her body weakly drooped on the car window, constantly twitching. The upper body is outside the car window, and the lower body is inside the window. The posterior position is hollowed out. Her eyes were lifeless and scattered, filled with a longing for life, but when she heard the sound of chewing from behind, her face was filled with despair. Are you going to die? She felt the screams of the pregnant woman getting further and further away from her. Why didn't that damn monster kill the pregnant woman first and insist on killing me? Why? Why? Consciousness fell into darkness and quickly fell silent. Xia Yu happened to see a pregnant woman like a toy, and her neck was twisted by a mutant. 180 degrees. The scream came to an abrupt end. Shu. Xia Yu's gaze turned cold, and she suddenly turned around, exerting force on her wrist and throwing out the safety hammer. Click. Accurately smashing it into the head of the bus driver. Unfortunately. It sensed the threat of death in advance, its head slightly tilted, and a deep pit was dug in the left frontal lobe by a safety hammer. As her body stumbled and she had not yet stabilized, Xia Yu had already kicked and hit the safety hammer. Click. The safety hammer is further embedded in the left brainstem of the bus driver. With a roar, the bus driver took two consecutive steps back and stumbled over a corpse on the ground, then fell to the ground with a loud bang. Opportunity. Xia Yume's eyes froze as she was about to rush forward. Ah. Go to hell. The pink-haired girl struggled to hold back the pain and broke free from the windshield. Her hair was covered in glass debris, and her scalp was almost peeled off. However, she ignored it and held her art knife in both hands, piercing it vertically into the forehead of the mutant who wanted to get up. She is very intelligent and has strong observation ability. She noticed that Xia Yu has been attacking the monster's head all the time, and often it is a one-hit kill, so she did the same at this time. Roar. The bus driver let out a roar. It's not dead yet. However, he also suffered heavy blows and struggled weakly. Xia Yu did not take any further action. The mutator was certain to die, and there was no longer any threat. She unexpectedly glanced at the pink-haired girl. I thought this battle would inevitably result in serious injuries, but I never expected it to end in this way. Humans are truly a species with enormous potential, and in dire straits, they often unleash terrifying potential. In the ten years of the apocalypse, faced with countless invasions of extraterrestrial beings, not only did they not become extinct, but they also killed out a vast expanse of heaven and earth, becoming an undeniable force. Immediately, she sensed that there was a large amount of heaven and earth spiritual energy gathering at the wound of the pink-haired girl, and the wound was quickly repaired. This. Her physical talent has at least reached the middle and upper levels of all spiritual mutants. If this continues. She won't die. If this woman is alive, how should she explain her situation to the authorities? To be honest. No. Reviving life, no one can believe Xia Yu. If she were the only living person, wouldn't what happened here be letting her weave lies? 
she pulled out the safety hammer and walked over. Pushy. Click. Without hesitation, he smashed it down, and the sound of flesh piercing and bone cracking echoed simultaneously. What are you doing? The pink-haired girl watched Xia Yu chisel through the forehead of her cousin and others, shocked and fearful, and more puzzled. Just in case. Xia Yu said calmly. Corpses can also become mutants, and this strange situation cannot be explained for ten years in the apocalypse. However, this is common knowledge in the apocalypse, and she naturally knows. So she continued to take action. The pink-haired girl no longer spoke, just turned her head and didn't look, and her body was extremely weak. Even though she was seriously injured, she couldn't manage so much. She pulled the art knife out of the bus driver's forehead and silently said, I'm sorry, only to find that there was no blood flowing out, and her eyes widened instantly. The quality of the art knife is good. Xia Yu said lightly, turned around and opened the car door, carrying a safety hammer towards the bodies of Zhao Shuang and others, while thinking about how to deal with the aftermath. At present, the only way to explain everything is to say that one secretly practices martial arts, has strong observational skills, and enjoys watching zombie movies. Just as she was about to find the body of the flat-headed fitness man, screams rang out. Xia Yume's eyes froze and she rushed forward decisively. Following the sound, she came to the white mist and saw two figures twisted together. Leffen sensed Xia Yu's arrival and ignored his injuries. He exerted a fierce force out of thin air, tightly gripping the mutator's neck and shouting, Hands on, kill it. Kill it. Even if he dies, he will drag it down. Click. Xia Yu has always been decisive in her actions, and with just one click, she smashed the opponent's head. Feeling the monster on his body no longer moving, Leffen breathed a great sigh of relief and his consciousness blurred. You can't live anymore. Looking at his current state, especially with a large piece of flesh missing from the main artery, blood vessels exposed, and blood gushing out, Xia Yu spoke up. Even with the speed at which the pink-haired girl absorbs the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, he cannot survive. If I had known earlier, I... I wouldn't have gotten off the car. I, I haven't asked for your contact information yet. As he spoke, Leffen remained motionless, only his body involuntarily twitching. Xia Yu stepped forward and the safety hammer fell fiercely. Inside the car. The sound of chewing began. The pink-haired girl was groggy, her consciousness was blurry, and her chewing voice was low, so she didn't pay attention at the first time. At a certain moment. The chewing sound stopped, followed by the sound of the pig's skin being cut open. She vaguely saw the pregnant woman's belly moving. She was momentarily stunned, and then saw a baby about the size of a palm, covered in skin and bones, with an indistinct face. The baby tore open its down jacket and appeared in sight. My heart was suddenly startled. The pink-haired girl suddenly woke up and was about to shout for help. With a whoosh. The baby is already lying on her face, end of this chapter. Chapter 5 Harvest is Abundant You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Harvest is Abundant The pink-haired girl opened her mouth and wanted to shout for help, but the baby on her face went straight into her mouth. Mutants are not only skilled in speed and strength, but also have amazing defense. They are all about improving their overall quality. Therefore, at this moment, the baby crawled into the mouth of the pink-haired girl recklessly, but was not injured by her teeth. Instead, it caused several of the pink-haired girl's teeth to collapse. If Xia Yu were here, she would definitely see the pink-haired girl's neck become incredibly thick, like a patient with a more severe thyroid enlargement. Moreover, the swollen area is constantly decreasing. The pink-haired girl's expression was very painful, and even though she knew a monster had penetrated her stomach, she could clearly perceive the entire process, which was its terrifying. It's very strange. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. She trembled violently all over, her mouth opened, and blood gushed out as if she didn't want money. 
The monster inside her body is crazily gnawing on her organs, causing unbearable pain. However, her throat has been damaged, making no sound at all. More importantly, she was already seriously injured and in an extremely dangerous situation. After being tossed around like this, she was already on the brink of death. The pink-haired girl cast her gaze outside the bus, but at this moment, Xia Yu was quite far away and couldn't notice any movement on her side. She gritted her teeth fiercely, with an extremely strong will, holding the art knife in her hand, and fiercely stabbed into the area below her stomach. Roar The monster inside emits a strange roar, sharp and piercing, completely different from other mutants. Are there any mutants again? Xia Yu's pretty face suddenly changed and without hesitation, she flashed back. Then I saw a palm-sized baby cutting open the pink-haired girl's belly and down jacket, with a blade of an art knife on the forehead, but unfortunately it broke. The other part is in the hands of the pink-haired girl. Roar. This palm-sized baby roared at Xia Yu. Click. The sound of bone cracking sounded. It has exploded its head. Death. The continuous chiseling has caused significant deformation on both sides of the safety hammer. If there is another mutator, the effectiveness of Xia Yu's weapons will be greatly reduced, and she will truly be in danger. Glancing over the scene, Xia Yu immediately understood what had happened when she was not there just now. Dot. The pink-haired girl opened her mouth and wanted to say something. Xia Yu pressed a safety hammer against the other person's head before approaching to listen. Thank you. Thank you. Two words came from my ear, and the sound of the last word was very light. After speaking, the pink-haired girl's hand loosened, the art knife fell off, her head tilted, and she died completely. Before she died, she showed a look of relief. Xia Yu hesitated for a moment, fixed his gaze on the pink-haired girl, even forgetting to use the ancient guidance technique, and his mood fluctuated for the first time. Next second. She regained her indifference and waved the safety hammer in her hand. Click. Thank you, is the two least valuable words in the apocalypse. The, good people are the group most likely to die in the apocalypse. However, everyone hopes that the people around them are, good people, dot. Xia Yu remembered her younger brother. During the apocalypse, the survivors around her praised him as a good person. A good person. Ha, shaking her head, she sneered and found a seat to rest. Still holding the completely deformed safety hammer in her hand, she glanced at the time and said, there are still the last three minutes left. The first fog incident is over. Xia Yu quickly applies the ancient guidance technique to absorb the spiritual energy of heaven and earth. Once the rules and fog disappear, she will return to earth. At that time, she will be unable to absorb the spiritual energy of heaven and earth and quickly improve her physical fitness. For every additional point in strength now, the survival rate of participating in other fog events will increase by 10%. Three seconds later. Her physical strength has fully recovered. Three minutes later. The fog incident ended and the rule fog gradually dissipated. Bomb. At this moment, a raging fire broke out on the bus, and she had already thrown the bodies of the mutants and humans outside the car. The onboard monitoring has been compromised. There is relatively little monitoring on this bus route, and the first two stations near this area are not monitored, while there are more people getting on and off at these two stations. There are too many suspects, at least 20 or more, who want to investigate this case through the personnel who got on and off the bus before the fog incident broke out. With her acting skills and innocent past, she can definitely get by. Everything is well considered. Subsequently, Xia Yu fled this place for the first time without leaving any traces along the way. More than 10 minutes later, she deliberately appeared under surveillance near her home, holding a bag of eggs and chili peppers, and began to reflect on the shortcomings and gains of this fog incident in her heart. Shortcomings The idea of rebirth is too unimaginable. Although I try my best to remain calm, deep down inside, 
I am still not calm. Otherwise, I would definitely think of the possibility of the baby becoming a mutant. Harvest 1, the body has gone from a sub-healthy state to a state comparable to that of a young athlete, and has developed the ability to protect itself in peacetime. Harvest 2, a crystal nucleus. Crystal nucleus, a collective of spiritual energy, can only be formed in the skull cavity of mutants. The stronger the mutants, the more spiritual energy there is in the crystal nucleus, and the probability of its production is not high, about one-tenth. Principle of Production The human body cannot withstand spiritual energy, and ultimately undergoes a mutation. The spiritual energy in its body cannot be stored in the physical body like that of a mutator, but rather converges in the skull cavity, forming crystal nuclei. Afterwards, the crystal nucleus continuously absorbs spiritual energy, and the mutator constantly becomes stronger. Crystal Core Usage The powerful instantaneous thermal energy can detonate it, producing a violent spiritual energy explosion. The more spiritual energy there is in the crystal core, the greater the power of the spiritual energy explosion, and the higher the damage to any living creature that has already absorbed spiritual energy, such as ghosts, humans, and beasts. Xia Yu once saw a crystal nucleus explode in the apocalypse, creating a terrifying psychic storm that swept across thousands of miles and destroyed everything. The crystal nucleus in her hand was found inside the skull of the bus driver, and it was also the only one in this foggy incident. Based on a 1 in 10 chance, she was lucky enough to obtain this crystal nucleus. It can be used as a trump card. With such thoughts, she arrived at her own door. This is the inheritance left for her and her brother before their parents passed away. Although it is old and dilapidated, it is the only place where she and her brother live. Not seen in ten years, she really misses it. Xiaoyu has returned. Why is it stuck at the door? You didn't bring the key. A strange and familiar voice came from behind. Xia Yu suddenly regained her senses and secretly warned herself not to let her guard down just because it was a peaceful era. She took a deep breath and only turned to the side, just so that the person behind her couldn't see the damage on her chest. It's Aunt Lee. I brought the key and just kept thinking if I forgot to buy something. A mother and son stood behind them. These are her neighbors. Li Tsuilian and Zhao Xiangha. The relationship between the two families is usually good, mainly because Aunt Li has been trying to match Xia Yu with her son. Unfortunately, the two have no eye contact and look down on each other. How about going to my house to eat? No, goodbye, Aunt Li. Xia Yu opened the door and nodded at Li Tsuilian and Zhao Xiangha, saying goodbye and leaving. Mom, don't mention anything about us being together again in the future. It's embarrassing to meet thieves. Are you stupid? It's not easy to marry a beautiful wife now. Besides, she's still very virtuous, tidy up the house, and knows how to save money. I've seen her negotiate in the market before, and by the way, she knows how to choose fresh vegetables. Do you know? Um. Mom, I'm just trying to make money, so I don't have the heart to pick groceries. Besides, I believe she's beautiful and can negotiate, but she can do household chores. Have you seen her hands? They're so tender that they can squeeze out water, they don't seem to work like they do. The sound of the door closing rang out, and the discussion between the mother and son came to an abrupt end. These hands are not meant for household chores. Xia Yu looked at her hands and gave a faint smile. After staying in the fog incident for 15 minutes, my body was constantly being transformed, and my already fair and tender skin became fragile and fragile. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Going Home You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Going Home Two Bedrooms and One Living Room, One Kitchen and One Bathroom, Family Photo, Badminton Racket in the Corner of the Balcony, and my favorite lace hanging on the rope Xia Yu's gaze swept over every corner of the room, and a sense of familiarity met her, causing her to almost freeze again. A sense of peace of mind lingered in her heart. This is my home. 
In this life, I will definitely take good care of it. Taking a deep breath, Xia Yu placed the vegetables in the kitchen, took off her clothes, and entered the bathroom to take a shower. The transformation of the body has led to the elimination of a large amount of impurities from the body, as well as a lot of sweat stains and sticky, which were quite uncomfortable during the previous battle. Half an hour later, Xia Yu changed into home clothes, blew her hair, and began to contemplate her current situation and future plans. At this time, she is in her senior year and has already contacted the internship unit in advance. After this winter vacation, she will go for an internship. After being reborn, she naturally won't waste her time on interning at the company. She needs to focus on preparing for the end of the world in four months. Weapons Grain Base Wait a minute. She needs all the resources. And to want these, you need money, a lot of money. For her, who relies on work and scholarships for education, this is very tricky. After all, this is a peaceful era, and in front of the state machinery, everyone must follow the law and follow the rules. Otherwise, trouble will continue. High interest loans. Or go to the bank to mortgage a loan. Xia Yu is pondering how to get money, and one idea after another flashed through her mind, thinking about its feasibility. Regardless of which method, there are various shortcomings, and the most important one is that due to the first fog incident, she will soon be noticed that suddenly making so much money will inevitably increase her suspicion. At that time, once monitored, she would be unable to participate in other fog incidents without being exposed. This does not align with her plan. Ding dong. At this moment, a mobile message was sent. Xia Yu, come to my house the night after tomorrow to gather. I invited a few high school classmates, including Xiao Yu and Xiao Xiao. Upon seeing the news of her high school classmate Chu Quan, Xia Yu Xiao raised her eyebrows slightly, and memories flooded her mind. The night after tomorrow, the fog of rules will reappear. Time. Midnight sharp, lasting for 30 minutes. Location. A standalone villa in the suburbs, which is the second property of the Chu family. Personnel. Her high school classmates, six people, four men and two women. These students have good adaptability to the spiritual energy of heaven and earth. In the sparse spiritual energy of heaven and earth, there is no mutation, but this does not mean that danger will not come. A ghost tribe will appear there. The specific information is unclear because she did not participate in that gathering in her previous life. In other words. Danger unknown. However, Xia Yu will definitely not miss this event, for a simple reason. There will be a rule-based resource. The Spirit Seed. Through it, you can choose a creature to become your spiritual attendant. The so dot called spiritual attendants refer to beings who unconditionally obey their master's commands, have wisdom and combat power, and are controlled by their master in life and death. Of course, if the spiritual realm and soul strength of the spiritual attendant completely exceed that of the master, they can break free from control. Okay. Xia Yu replied with one word. Chu Quan. You still cherish your words like gold as always, uh, carrot underscore, Xia Yu did not reply. Chu Quan. This is my home location, asterisk R, uh, Xia Yu didn't even look at her phone and kept thinking to herself. If she could control a wealthy person, it would be perfect if that wealthy person could become a spiritual power in the future. She can both help her obtain all the resources she wants before the outbreak of the apocalypse, and become her thug after the outbreak of the apocalypse. Just as she was thinking about controlling someone, the door opened. A white and sunny big boy wearing a school uniform appeared in the field of vision. At this moment. Despite being resilient, mentally prepared, and constantly reminding herself to be cautious, Xia Yu still experienced a moment of unconsciousness. It was also at this moment that she fully believed she had been reborn, watching her living younger brother appear in her field of vision. My younger brother didn't die. Everything has started over. Xiao Tian. 
Xia Yu's eyes were moist, and if it weren't for her efforts to control them, tears would probably surge out. Once tears were shed, this situation would be uncontrollable. Sister, this is the clothes you asked me to buy. Didn't you just buy one last month? Why did you buy another one? It's currently the season and buying down jackets is very expensive. Summer didn't notice her sister's abnormality. While changing shoes, she raised the bag in her hand and spoke. Ah. Xia Yu's gaze fell on the bag, quickly wiping away her tears, taking a deep breath, forcibly calming her emotions, and speaking, Oh, well, I gave away my down jacket before. Sending someone off. In summer, when I frown, I feel very puzzled. His pale face is heart-wrenching. Don't be fooled by the fact that Summer is in high school when he is young and in good health. In fact, he has been weak and sickly since childhood, so his parents have been doting on him. He is also very sensible, actively adjusting his mentality, and smiling at life. Therefore, his psychology is very sunny and his thoughts are very pure. It gives a clean feeling from inside out. This is also where his charm lies. Countless girls have written love letters to him. Originally, Summer wanted to tear up all these love letters, but Xia Yu firmly disagreed and instead collected them. That's right. Xia Yu showed a rare smile, sweet as if melting the ice and snow. I met a girl who dressed very thinly in winter and shivered with cold. I only found out when I approached and asked that her family was very poor. I asked her, New Year is coming soon what are her wishes? She said she wants a new dress, thick enough so she can go out without getting cold. She knows her brother's personality, this lie can definitely deceive him. As expected. So you gave her your down jacket. Your clothes aren't new either, are they? And isn't she wearing them big? Roast in summer. Why isn't it new? Your older sister, I've only been wearing it for a few days. What's so big? She can wear it just right to cover her knees and save the cold. Xia Yu waved her hand and said domineeringly, Stop talking nonsense. Ask all sorts of questions. Why are there so many things to ask you to buy clothes? Are you investigating a case? I thought this meeting would be very warm and even unfamiliar, but she naturally entered into the daily interaction mode between the siblings. Very comfortable. Summer shook his head and said, Sister, who dares to marry a mother tiger like you in the future? Cut. Xia Yu shook her beautiful hair, and the imperial sister Fan Shichi said, Your old sister doesn't worry about getting married. Summer said, Sister, it's not easy for you to earn money. There are hundreds of down jackets here, so you can't be careless in the future. Excessive kindness. Upon hearing this, Xia Yu felt amused in her heart. She has cut countless lives and is a true female demon. Surprisingly, some people say she has shown excessive kindness. I got it, I got it. Are you bothering me? Hurry up and wash your hands to cook, I'm almost starving. She urged impatiently. Summer smiled helplessly and didn't say anything more. Instead, he neatly placed his sister's randomly placed boots back in their original place. He then noticed that the boots were exceptionally clean and couldn't help but ask, Sister, didn't I just wipe your boots yesterday? You wiped it again. When did you become so diligent? He does all the household chores because his sister once said that doing housework can not only exercise the body, but also earn points in front of girls, so he doesn't have to worry about finding a wife in the future. Ha! <laughs> Sister said it really well. Your child's wings are hard, aren't they? Those who control the sky and the earth, hurry up and cook. Xia Yu knew that Xia Xia was very smart and didn't want to continue lying, otherwise it would be easy to be exposed. She pretended to be a scoundrel and arrogantly stepped forward to pick up Xia Xia's ear, asking, Why don't I take you there? Okay, okay, let go first. Hurry up in summer and beg for mercy. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Mutual Concealment 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 7 Mutual Concealment in a Certain Room A video is currently playing. The woman was wrapped in a light blue down jacket, looking very afraid of the cold, and it was difficult to see the damaged area on her chest from this angle. This is the first time Xia Yu appeared in the surveillance footage after the fog incident. At the end of the video, one person spoke up and introduced themselves. Everyone's gaze turned to the middle dot aged man in the center of the room. The middle dot aged man's name is Zhao Guohui, and he is the leader of the special task force that specializes in supervising this case. After pondering for a moment, he spoke up and said, send someone to her house, bring this down jacket back, see if there are any traces, and bring it back for a record. Someone questioned, from the location of the fog incident to her house, even if we were to travel at full speed, it would take more than 10 minutes. This girl is just the most ordinary college student, and she even bought eggs and chili peppers. It's unlikely that she is the one, right? Zhao Guohui said, I only look at the evidence. The person who just questioned remained silent and immediately went to execute the order. Zhao Guohui said, Next. Screen switching. Another suspect appears in the video. Soon. The door of Xia Yu's house opened. The rich aroma of rice and vegetables fills the nose. The two people in front of the door instinctively rolled their Adam's apple and looked at the tall, beautiful, and cool-looking beauty in front of them, wearing home clothes. They were stunned for the first time. Their Adam's apple rolled again. What do you two have to do? In the following conversation, Xia Yu fully took the initiative. The key is that she gives the other party a feeling of taking the initiative. A few minutes later, the three of them left wearing light blue down jackets. Watching the three of them leave, Xia Xia's eyebrows furrow slightly. I took a shower at home. Buy a new down jacket. Wiped my boots. These anomalies clearly indicate that the sister has a problem. He picked up his phone and began to check the relevant news reports. There was not much useful news. He quickly entered a string of website addresses and manipulated them one after another, causing the screen to suddenly change. Real photos and information about the fog incident have emerged one after another. Half an hour later. Who? It can't be sister. To survive this eerie incident, at least a special forces soldier, right? Summer breathed a sigh of relief and murmured to himself, Sister is just a simple, beautiful, somewhat domineering college student who likes to bully her younger brother. As he spoke, his mouth curved with an imperceptible curve of happiness. Ding ling ling. The phone rings. Wang Zhe, what's going on? In summer, the curve of the mouth disappears and is replaced by calmness. Wang Zhe, originally a bad student who likes to bully him, has been quietly invading his phone and computer since summer. Then, during class, walking on the street, going home for dinner, sleeping in the middle of the night. Videos that only adults can watch are constantly playing, and the sound is loud. Then, he became angry. Oh, by the way, he is still a wealthy second dot generation. Since then, the two have become close allies. Tian Gu, Yu Jie's internship company has already been announced. It's okay if you don't go, and you can start working at a high salary after graduation. Wang Zhe spoke up and said, By the way, Tian Gu, you've earned so much money. Why do you want Sister Yu to work in such a class? How much money can you earn? Summer calmly said, I have donated all my money. My sister only wants him to study hard, do some household chores, and earn money without worrying about anything. If I let my sister know that he is distracted from making money, I'm afraid it will be very sad. If my sister is sad, he will only feel even more sad. At that time, the already weak body may have an accident. So if you want to avoid entering the ICU, you cannot expose your account balance. None of those rescue organizations are good birds. Wang Jaman is full of disdain. Do you think I need to donate money through a relief organization? Summer asks again. 
Wang Zhe hesitated for a moment and almost forgot that Tian Gu was a computer genius. He patted his forehead and said, how could I forget about this? Immediately, he changed the topic and said in a tone that was not friendly, Brother Tian, I heard that Xie Xiaokuan and his gang have bullied you. You don't need to take action this time. I will personally help you solve them and give my brothers a chance to show off their muscles. These days, make sure he looks good. Summer pondered for a moment. Xie Xiaokuan doesn't have much background, he only managed to establish himself in this city with a strong fighting spirit. On the other hand, Wang Zhe's father, who recently made a big business and became the top taxpayer in the province, is highly valued. So, Wang Zhe's lesson to Xie Xiaokuan should be fine. Okay. He instructed, be careful when you start, don't make a big fuss, otherwise you can handle it, I can't handle it. By the way, please convey to Xie Xiaokuan that he wants to be a good person in the future. Upon hearing this, Wang Zhe chuckled and said, Brother Tian has always had the excellent virtue of persuading others to be good. Can I still not know? Don't worry, Brother Tian. In the future, Xie Xiaokuan can only be a good person. The night is getting darker. When Xia Yu returned home, her younger brother had already fallen asleep. Due to his weak physique and frequent illnesses, my younger brother goes to bed very early every day. She had anticipated this situation early on, so she reported her safety to her younger brother before returning, so he didn't have to wait. Immediately, she returned to her room lightly and lay on the soft bed, feeling a bit uncomfortable for a while. Indeed, Zhao Guohui is in charge of this matter, just like in the previous life. She recalled her performance, making sure there were no issues before finally letting go. Zhao Guohui, who comes from an old criminal investigation background and has made countless contributions, is still a team leader in his forties. It seems that he offended the leaders above. Before the outbreak of the apocalypse, he participated in a fog event and became a psychic. Every psychic has a power. His talent. Insight into the human heart. Because of this ability, he is highly valued, and coupled with his strong ability as a psychic, his talent for absorbing spiritual energy from heaven and earth has reached an upper level, ultimately serving as the highest commander of Shelter No. 9. We need to be more careful in our next actions. Thinking of this, she took out her phone and replied to Chu Quan, My younger brother is sick again and can't go. Chu Quan second replied. Is your younger brother okay? Do I need to find a doctor? Director Lu from the provincial hospital is my brother. In law. Xia Yu. No need, thank you, I'm asleep. Turn off your phone. Turn off the lights. She didn't take off her clothes and wasn't used to it. Next door room. In summer, I also turn off the bedside lamp and fall asleep tired. Vaguely, he felt something enter his body, as usual, not surprising. Instead, he slept sounder, but his face turned even whiter. The next day. Cough cough. After breakfast, I cough and go to school in the summer. Xia Yu chased after him and helped him put on another piece of clothing, instructing him, you're so empty, take a taxi to school. No need. Okay. Summer was about to refuse, but when he saw his sister's stern face, he immediately changed his mind. Anyway, there's not a shortage of money, as long as my sister is happy. When her younger brother left, Xia Yu returned to her room carrying a backpack she had already prepared, stopped a taxi, regained her usual coldness, and said, Master, go. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Villa Incident Outbreak You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Villa Incident Outbreak in a Corner that Cannot be Captured by Surveillance Cameras A figure had already changed into a new outfit, and was wearing a mask, sunglasses, and a duckbill cap. Outsiders couldn't even recognize it as Xia Yu. Hello, help me buy some sulfur, and I'll give you an additional 500 yuan for running errands. Is it really fake? This is 200. After buying it, I'll give you 300 more. 
Okay. More than ten minutes later. Sulfur in hand. Another corner that cannot be captured by surveillance cameras. Hello, help me buy some saltpeter, and I'll give you an extra 500 yuan for running errands. Beauty, may I have your WeChat? Sure. Wait for me. More than 10 minutes later. I have saltpeter in my hand. Beauty, shall I sweep you? Get lost. How do you speak? Xia Yu was dancing a pure black butterfly knife between her fingers, with smooth and cool movements. Finally, she rubbed the opponent's scalp and shot into the trunk behind him. It sounds so good. Goodbye. The other party was so scared that their legs softened and they stumbled around before running away. Running wildly for more than ten meters, looking back, where is the tall and beautiful figure behind me? One day later, night fell again. It was snowing heavily with goose feathers in the sky, and the north wind was piercing. This is the first heavy snow since winter, and there is no one above the streets at night. When summer falls into a deep sleep, Xia Yu quietly leaves. In a place far from home without surveillance, I found a Chang'an 75P and easily opened its doors, started the vehicle, and quickly drove towards the outskirts. In the ten years of the apocalypse, these crafts were almost essential. In a standalone villa, Chu Quan and Nye Xiaoyu, six of them, had already eaten and drunk their fill. They played gentle music and played script killing for a while. The four men started playing mahjong, while the other two women sat on the side whispering. I didn't notice a figure sneaking into the villa at all. I didn't even notice a faint mist rising outside the window. In the blink of an eye, so many years have passed. I didn't expect that Quan Gu and Yu Jie would be together. Back then, you two had a bit of an unpleasant scene because of Xia Yu, that beautiful woman. Li Xiaopeng looked at a photo frame placed on the table. This was a photo taken by Chu Quan and Nye Xiao Yu at the coffee shop where the couple checked in. The two of them occupied most of the photo, and behind them were a pair of sweet interactions, very romantic and enviable. At the very least, a bachelor like him is envious. It's all over now. Chu Quan's eyes flashed with a brilliant light. Back then, he liked Xia Yu and didn't even look up to Nye Xiao Yu. Unfortunately, he chased after Xia Yu for a long time, but still couldn't catch up with him. And Nye Xiao Yu kept chasing him, so in the end, he chose to be with Nye Xiao Yu. When Nye Xiao Yu heard the name Xia Yu, she felt a little unnatural, but she still tried to put on a happy look as naturally as possible. Yeah. Zhang Qi did not notice the unusual appearance of Chu Quan and Nye Xiao Yu, but hugged Yu Xiao Xiao beside him and said with a cheap smile, if a woman cannot catch up with a man, Peng is the only one. A hint of embarrassment appeared on Yu Xiao Xiao's face. Fuck you. Li Xiaopeng felt even more embarrassed and punched Zhang Qi, saying, If you can't speak, don't speak. Back then, Yu Xiao Xiao was his desk mate and often served him meals. He often gave her lectures and they interacted a lot. From time to time, they would even touch each other with their small hands, feeling embarrassed for a long time. I never thought about it. That is his peak so far, and he has never had close contact with women since then. It's burnt. At this moment, Hua Shuya lifted his glasses and excitedly shouted, Take the money. Take the money. Why are you being foolish again? How many are there? Li Xiaopeng was so depressed that he paid and roast at the same time. Everything is really going wrong. I have to eat dog food and pay for it, I really don't know what the purpose of coming to this gathering is. Peng, there's still a beautiful woman around, why are you using foul language? Now you know why you don't have a girlfriend, right? Zhang Qi raised his eyebrows with a mischievous smile, I heard you're chasing our goddess Xia Yu. Your courage is commendable. Everyone laughed heartily. Especially the two girls. Li Xiaopeng was taken aback for a moment, and then the corner of his mouth twitched fiercely. Nima. Isn't it that you were chased by your girlfriend during high school? 
Is it necessary to target me like this? Xia you and I are just ordinary friends, not what you think. Forget it. I won't play anymore. He pushed a handful of mahjong, got up and left, and came to the French window. I vaguely saw a beautiful shadow flickering through the darkness, and couldn't help but be startled. But upon closer inspection, there was no black shadow. Are you feeling dizzy? Li Xiaopeng was stunned for a moment, couldn't help but rub his eyes, but still didn't see anything. Afterwards, he heard footsteps and turned his head to take a look, a familiar face floating in front of him. Sleeping slot. Xia language. Li Xiaopeng was startled. Upon closer inspection, the face had a neck and body. However, at some point, the lights in the living room were turned off, and due to angle issues, the moonlight only shone on Xia Yu's face. So, it looks like there's only one face. Who? He breathed a sigh of relief, pursed his dry lips, and nervously asked, When did you come? Xia Yu said, I've been there all along. Have you forgotten? Just now, I was sitting next to Xiao Yu, chatting with her all the time. Li Xiaopeng carefully recalled the scene of Xia Yu and Ye Xiao Yu sitting together chatting, but he always felt something was wrong. In the end, he scratched his head and said awkwardly, Look at my memory, I forgot. By the way, how is your brother's illness? Do you need my help to contact the doctor? I know many authoritative experts. Xia Yu looked worried and said, Don't mention it. His face has been getting worse these days. Do you have time? Why don't we go now? Now. Thinking that this gathering was not very interesting and everyone was showing off, Li Xiaopeng hesitated for a moment and nodded, saying, I'll talk to all of them, and then we'll both leave. Xia Yu said, They have all gone to bed. Don't disturb them, let's go first. Li Xiaopeng nodded and said, It's also good. But just as he was about to leave the villa gate, his footsteps suddenly stopped. Outside the door. Xia Yu smiled lightly and asked, What's wrong? Let's go. Watching a smile emerge on this stunning pretty face, Li Xiaopeng instantly felt a chilling sensation and slammed the door shut. Suddenly, the scene before me changed. He was standing in front of the French window. It was vaguely visible that the fog was heavy outside the window. While gasping, he wiped the sweat on his forehead with fear. Fortunately, I am smart, otherwise once I step out of the door. Li Xiaopeng shook his head vigorously, showing an incredulous expression. What exactly happened just now? Dreams. But he didn't sleep. Step on, the sound of footsteps came from behind. Li Xiaopeng instinctively turned his head and glanced, a familiar face floating in front of him. Xia Yu. He suddenly widened his eyes. On the other side. Peng, are you angry? TSK TSK. I was stabbed in the painful foot. Ha ha. Zhang Qi's eyes flickered with disdain, and after looking at time, he spoke up, since we're not playing anymore, let's go to bed. It's too late. I will stay here tonight, which was agreed upon by everyone in advance. Everyone yawned and discussed before finally agreeing. Zhang Qi looked at Li Xiaoping's gloomy expression, raised the hand he was holding, and smiled, saying, Peng, good night. Looking at Li Xiaoping's murderous gaze, he laughed and returned to the room on the east side of the second floor. The first half of the night was really enjoyable. Lying in bed, looking at the curvaceous and graceful figure with his back to him, he relaxed his lips and lifted a smile that even men knew. He immediately pressed it against him, hugged it from behind, sniffed the fragrance of his hair, and said, did the latter half of the night also make me feel good? Disgusting, I'll go take a shower first. Speaking, Yu Xiao Xiao pushed away Zhang Qi, changed clothes, left the room, and went to the wet and dry separation bathroom on the second floor, ready to lie in the bathtub and enjoy it. After waiting for a long time, Zhang Qi's physical strength recovered, but his lower abdomen became hotter and hotter. 
he couldn't help but sneakily leave the room and saw that the lights in everyone's room were turned off. His smile on the corner of his mouth grew even bigger, and he was about to knock on the door of the bathroom. Unexpectedly, the door opened with a push. TSK TSK TSK. This wave hoof, I'm sure I can't wait anymore. It deliberately left the door for me. He pushed the door open and entered, and then, um. Nyes Xiaoyu. Looking at the beauty with an even more incredible figure, he was startled and quickly turned his back reluctantly, explaining, I'm sorry, I thought Xiao Xiao was here. She might have gone to the first floor to take a shower, so. I'll go out first. The snow-white body that had just appeared constantly in my mind, my mouth twitching and my tongue dry, but I still dare not stop. Chu Quan's energy is too great. If I offend him, I will suffer. But the next moment. A warm and moist body hugged itself from behind. Zhang Qi's whole body trembled, his heart suddenly quickened, feeling the person behind him. His rationality was crazily impacted, and he could collapse at any moment. Chu Quan has already fallen asleep. A soft and sticky sound came from the ear, and the unique aroma of Nye Xiaoyu kept drilling towards his nose. Reason collapses. Zhang Qi transforms into a beast, end of this chapter. Chapter 9 Chaos You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Chapter 9 Chaos Xia Language Shortly after infiltrating the villa, fog descended. As the clock pointed toward zero o'clock, the phone signal suddenly cut off, and the second fog incident in the city began. Immediately, she sensed that her consciousness was being disturbed. Indeed, it is a ghost tribe. Xia Yu had anticipated this earlier and had been silently reciting an unnamed mnemonic. People come across heavy paper, ghosts come across mountains, a thousand evil cannot be dealt with, a thousand evil cannot be dealt with three months after the outbreak of the apocalypse, this unnamed mnemonic was officially released as a self.defense measure against the ghost clan, although it was of little use when facing powerful ghost clans. However, before the outbreak of the apocalypse, even the powerful ghost tribe could not enter the mist of rules. The so dot called Rule Fog is a special rule formed during the brief encounter, overlap, and separation of two spaces, which only creatures that comply with the rules of the fog space can enter. After ten years of research and summary in the post-apocalyptic era, humans have found that there are three common characteristics of the Rule Fog before the outbreak of the post-apocalyptic era. Firstly, there is a complete disconnection between the inside and outside of the fog, and there is no connection between the inside and outside. Secondly, creatures entering the mist, whether of the human race or other races, generally have low realms because before the outbreak of the apocalypse, the fusion degree between various alien spaces and the space where Earth is located was very low, unable to support stronger creatures to enter. Thirdly, after the fog of rules clears, living creatures will automatically return to their respective spaces, while dead creatures will return to their respective spaces if they have not been taken away by living creatures. And how these so-dot-called rules are generated is unknown. Xia Yu's understanding of rules is far beyond that of ordinary people, but in her previous life, she did not participate in several foggy events, so her understanding of rules and fog was also very limited. Even so, she was not comparable to anyone else. Before her rebirth, she had already faintly felt that she had touched the true mystery of the rules. If she continued to comprehend and study, she didn't know what it would bring, but she still planned to continue. Each ghost tribe has its own rules. Find it, use it, and only then will there be a chance to defeat it, or live until the end of the fog event. Before finding the pattern of this ghost tribe, it is necessary to ensure that Chu Quan and others live as long as possible. With their help to share the attention of the ghost tribe, I can live until the birth of the servant spirit seed. Dot. At present, Xia Yu plans to unite with Chu Quan and others. So she glanced at Li Xiaopeng in front of the French window and walked over. As soon as he arrived behind him, Li Xiaopeng suddenly turned his head, sweating profusely and looking frightened. Ghosts. 
Li Xiaopeng screamed and tried to escape. You were just hallucinated by ghosts. Xia language makes a sound. Dot. Li Xiaopeng was taken aback for a moment. After seeing the shadow of Xiaoyu, he finally calmed down, but remained extremely vigilant. You. Are you really Xiaoyu? Didn't you come here? Why did you come again? Xia Yu had already anticipated such an inquiry and had already found the reasons. Xiao Tian's condition is better. I thought it would be bad to keep my appointment, so I came here overnight. As a result, I saw you standing in front of the French window just after I came here, and then came to say hello. After explaining, she shifted her attention and said, By the way, how did you turn off the lights? The party's over. I'm not sure, the lights were still on just now. Thinking of his recent experience, Li Xiaopeng still had lingering palpitations. As he walked over to turn on the light, he spoke up and asked, How do you know if it's caused by ghosts? Pop. The light is not on. Power outage. He took out his phone and turned on the camera. And then the two saw Zhang Qi holding onto the square pillar in the living room, with a large amount of blood flowing from below, he's also hallucinated by ghosts. Quick, save someone. Xia Yu's pretty face froze and she approached to wake Zhang Qi up. Unfortunately, it was one step slower. Bang! The relaxed body suddenly collapsed on the ground, twitching twice, completely motionless. Two pairs of pants have been completely stained red with blood. Several teeth collapsed on the ground, and blood flowed continuously from the mouth, quickly staining the ground red. A bloody smell permeated. Sleeping trough. On Li Xiaoping's side, he saw Yu Xiao Xiao, who was closest to him, holding a fruit knife and slowly thrusting it into his heart. He was so frightened that he rushed forward and grabbed her wrist in time. Unexpectedly, Yu Xiao Xiao's strength was surprisingly strong. The fruit knife was still slowly moving towards his heart, so anxious that Li Xiaopeng slapped it. Pop. Yu Xiao Xiao's pretty face showed five finger marks, and her fierce gaze became confused, as if she had just experienced a big war. Her body collapsed severely and collapsed on the sofa. You. What are you doing? She pushed away Li Xiaopeng's hand and instinctively went to find her boyfriend Zhang Qi, hoping that he would teach Li Xiaopeng a lesson as a hooligan. Then, she found, ah ah. The screams were as if they were about to overturn the ceiling. Yu Xiao Xiao suddenly bounced up from the sofa and hung on Li Xiaopeng like an octopus, but couldn't get off. Seemingly stimulated by screams, Hu Shuya, with a face full of deathly grey, showed a struggling expression and gradually broke free from the illusion. Hoo 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 hoo, he gasped for breath and held his heart in his right hand, where the pain was severe. Pop. At the same time, Xia Yu had already slapped and awakened Ye Xiaoyu, who had taken off her clothes and was still frantically peeling her skin. Xia language. Do you dare to hit me? Ye Xiaoyu was only stunned for a moment, then felt the burning pain on his face, felt angry in his heart, and then found himself feeling a chill on his body. Looking down. What? Where are the clothes? Naked. What's going on? She quickly picked up her clothes, blocking the crucial position, and realized something was wrong. She was just taking a shower, how did she return to the living room on the first floor? Isn't Xia Yu absent from the party? How did she appear here? How can there be scratches on the skin? Xia Yu was too lazy to pay attention to her, and her gaze turned to Chu, who had not yet woken up, and she was about to take action. Ghosts. There's a ghost, help, help. Chu Quan suddenly jumped up from the sofa, his face full of fear, crawling and banging his head against another square pillar in the living room. Shua. Xia Yu and others were all attracted to their attention. Seeing this scene, a cold breath rushed up from their souls, causing their scalp to tingle for a moment. They were frightened by this strange and inexplicable situation and took a step back together. Watching Chu Quan collide helplessly. 
End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Single Ghosts. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10 Single Ghosts Chu Quan. When Li Xiaopeng got up and didn't plan to continue playing, Zhang Qi suggested sleeping and not staying up all night. Others also agreed. Chu Quan had no choice but to give up his plan to stay up all night. When everyone left, he took the initiative to turn off the lights. The surroundings were pitch black. He couldn't adapt to the environment for a while, couldn't see anything, and could only move forward two steps based on his memory. He didn't dare to move anymore, so he had to choose to stay in place. I waited for a few seconds. Gradually adapting to the environment, with the help of the hazy moonlight, one can vaguely see the surroundings. Chu Quan was about to go upstairs. As he walked past the photo frame on the side, he noticed that it had been knocked down at some point. Without much thought, he casually flipped it over. He and Ye Xiaoyu in the photo are still so handsome and beautiful. It can be said that she is talented and beautiful. Unfortunately in Chu Quan's mind at this moment, another beautiful image emerged. Xia language. Her perfect figure and flawless face, as well as her unique temperament, cold temperament, and stubborn temper, attracted him to every aspect. Make him unable to give up. Every day is haunted by dreams. Even though it has been rejected many times. Even every time he gets intimate with Nye Xiaoyu, he takes out his phone and secretly opens the confidentiality cabinet inside, which contains photos of Xiaoyu. And it's either naked or wearing extremely revealing photos. This leads to him always being fast. However only he knew that the woman under him was not Xiaoyu. The photos in the confidential cabinet were secretly taken of Xiaoyu, or downloaded from Xiaoyu's social circle and then taken off with just one click of AI. In other words, this is all fake. He has been fantasizing about himself. Xiaoyu, I must have you. Chu Quan took a deep breath, feeling inexplicably hot all over. He was about to go upstairs to vent his anger on Ye Xiaoyu, but as soon as he turned around, he saw a red figure appearing in the photo. He remembers that in the original photo, there weren't any passers-by wearing red clothes. Take a look back. He saw that the position that originally belonged to Nye Xiaoyu was replaced by a figure wearing a big red wedding dress and a red hood. Sleeping slot. Chu Quan was suddenly startled. The feeling of dryness and heat completely disappeared. And then he suddenly opened his eyes. At this moment, Chu Quan is lying on the bed on his side, with Nye Xiaoyu lying next to him. Who? He found himself in a cold sweat, but he didn't even care about it. He breathed a heavy sigh of relief. A series of memories came to mind. When Li Xiaopeng got up and didn't plan to continue playing, Zhang Qi suggested sleeping and not staying up all night. Others also agreed. He reluctantly gave up his plan to stay up all night and instructed Hu Shuya, who was sleeping on the first floor, to remember to turn off the lights. Then, he returned to the master bedroom on the second floor with Nye Xiaoyu. It turned out to be a nightmare. What a strange dream. Chu Quan flipped over and prepared to sleep with his face on the other side. As soon as I closed my eyes, I suddenly opened them again because Nye Xiaoyu was lying asleep in front of me. Dot. In an instant, his scalp tingled and his whole body felt like falling into an ice cave. Who is the real Nye Xiaoyu? He remembered that the thing in front of him was real. Nye Xiaoyu slept in this position before going to bed, so who was the Nye Xiaoyu behind him? Immediately afterwards, he noticed Nye Xiaoyu moving behind him and turned his head quite stiffly, looking at himself. I don't know if it's a psychological effect, he even felt Nye Xiaoyu behind him reaching out and pinching his neck. Fear exploded in his heart, and Chu Quan almost suffered from heart attack. The whole person burst out with amazing potential, jumped out of bed directly, and ran towards the door without looking back, shouting, ghost, at the same time, there's a ghost, help, help. Bang! Suddenly, he felt his body being kicked away heavily. 
The intense pain instantly pulled his consciousness back from the dark second-floor master bedroom to the first-floor living room. In a daze, Chu Quan saw Xia Yu standing in front of him, it was fake again. In dreams, in dreams. Pop. He slapped himself in the face with great force, leaving five bloody fingerprints. Hiss. Due to excessive force, he even tilted his head and fell to the ground, and the intense pain almost made him faint. Can the scene in front of me still hasn't changed? Chu Quan's eyes widened in shock, and his limbs flipped backwards frantically. Even though his waist was hurt from being kicked, he ignored him and said, Ghost. You're a ghost. Please let me go, Wu Wu. He cried in fear. Crying hysterically. You are all ghosts. Seeing Ye Xiaoyu and others staring at him, he became even more afraid and said, Don't kill me. I am willing to agree to all your demands. Money, or a house. My family has everything. No mutants. Xia Yu breathed a sigh of relief. These people have good physical talents and have not undergone any changes so far. As long as they do not die, they will not become mutants. This can also be considered as relieving her stress. Next, all you need to do is face the threat from the ghost tribe wholeheartedly. Brother Quan. Nye Xiaoyu spoke first and cautiously said, We are all humans, living beings. Li Xiaopeng also spoke out, but his voice trembled slightly. It was obvious that he had not regained consciousness from the shock just now. You were just dreaming and even sleepwalking to hit a pillar. If it weren't for Xiaoyu, you would have died. Chu Quan was skeptical and skeptical. If you don't believe it, you can take a look at Zhang Qi, he was killed in a fantasy. Dream. Li Xiaopeng spoke while holding Yu Xiao Xiao, who was still hanging on his body and refused to come down, and turned to the side, allowing Chu Quan to see Zhang Qi's body. Chu Quan saw Zhang Qi's body and the bloodstains flowing around him, and couldn't help but widen his eyes. Are you really dead? Look, I didn't lie to you, did I? Li Xiaopeng's gaze turned back to Chu Quan, and his emotions slightly recovered. He glanced at Xia Yu and said, Hurry up and report to the police. What's happening here is too strange. Others also turned their attention to Xia Yu, who had always been calm. Subconsciously, she is the main focus. Ah! At this moment, Chu Quan suddenly let out a scream. The crowd trembled with fear. What's your ghost name? Do you know that people scare people to death? Everyone was very dissatisfied, but due to Chu Quan's high prestige in his daily life, he did not speak out and curse. Chu Quan pointed at Zhang Qi's corpse, his eyes widening and his fingers trembling, but he could never speak. He. He. Everyone looked over and retreated in unison, their faces turning pale as earth. Zhang Qi, are you alive? Ghosts. Ah ah. Nye Xiaoyu, Yu Xiao Xiao, and Li Xiaopeng all shouted loudly, and Li Xiaopeng even broke the sound. Zhang Qi gave a sudden smile, eerie and eerie. Whoosh. Huashuya led the charge and prepared to escape from the villa, with everyone following closely behind. Just as they arrived at the door, the door automatically closed. The hearts of everyone have fallen to the bottom. A face full of despair. End of this chapter.